In this lesson we'll learn how to graph functions and relations. In the graphs application you'll see the equation entry line. The first function is f1 of x. Use the down arrow you will notice that f2 is the entry line for the second function. Down arrow f3 is the entry line for the third function and so on. Let's arrow up to function 1. Graph a linear function y is equal to 2x minus 3. When pressing enter, the graph of y is equal to 2x minus 3 as shown, and the entry line has disappeared. Press tab to retrieve the entry line. As the first function is graphed, function 2 is the entry line. Press tab twice to have the entry line disappear. Another method is to use Ctrl G to retrieve the entry line, or have the entry line to disappear. G for go away, or G for get it back. Control G. To edit the function, press the up arrow and make changes to this function. Change y equals 2x minus 3 to y is equal to 2x minus 4 by pressing the delete and changing 3 to a 4. To keep the next entry line on the screen, press the down arrow. Graph the line y is equal to 2. Press enter. To change the graph entry to a relation, press menu. Select graph entry edit using the down arrow and press enter. Select relation by pressing 2. This will be the first relation to be graphed, relation 1. Graph x is equal to negative 3. Press enter. We could keep adding more graphs to this graph application, or we can insert another graph application. There are other ways to insert a new application, and I'll use Control i for insert. The calculator is like a computer in your hands. Control i Select Add Graphs. Press 2. The tabs shown are 1.1 and 1.2. Problem 1 with two applications or pages, application 1 and application 2. To navigate between applications, press Ctrl and either left or right arrow to find the application you require. Back at 1.2, enter the function y is equal to x minus 5 into function 3. This is F3, as two other functions have been already entered into the calculator. Press Enter. Graphs on the calculator are dynamic. The graphs can be transformed very easily. On the calculator, the cursor can be used to grab objects on the graph plane. Moving to the centre of the line, a crosshair is seen. Pressing the centre of the touchpad on the calculator and holding for two seconds changes the cursor to a closed hand. As I'm using the computer software, I will use the mouse to grab the line. Using the arrows of the touchpad to translate the line. And using the computer software, it's easy to move up and down. On the calculator, press the center of the touchpad to release the line from the hand. If you wanted to revert to the original equation, the undo is Control Z like a computer or Control Escape. The touchpad is like a mouse, and you can roll your fingers over the touchpad, and motion will result from this. Moving the cursor to the top or bottom section of the line shows an icon that has rotational arrows. Like before, pressing the center of the touchpad on the calculator for two seconds, then use either the arrows or rolling your fingers over the touchpad to rotate the line. Using the computer software here, I'm rotating the line. Pressing the control and the document key will also allow you to insert a new application. Insert a new graphs application. Press 2. Graphing can be completed by changing the entry line to a relation, or we could use a template. Press menu. Select graph entry line. 
use the down arrow and pressing enter. Let's investigate the equation templates. Press enter. Select circle by pressing three. Let's use the center form template. Press enter. The template had dash boxes for the center and the radius. We're going to graph x plus five all squared plus y minus three all squared is equal to four. Moving between the fields by pressing tab or using the right arrow key. The center is negative five, three, and tabbing of the radius of two. Pressing enter. Change the entry line to a relation. Press menu. Select graph entry edit. Pressing enter. Select relation. We're going to graph x minus four all squared plus y plus three all squared is equal to nine. Brackets x subtract 4, use your right arrow to be outside the brackets, press the x squared, plus brackets, y plus 3, outside the brackets the right arrow squared is equal to 9, and press enter. Navigate to 1.2 by pressing the control and left arrow. Press tab and use the up arrow to be in the entry line of F3. To delete the equation, use the delete keypad. and press enter. Press Control Z to retrieve the deleted graph. Press tab and use the up arrow to show F3. Use the left arrow to, to be inside the tick box. Press enter. The graph is turned off, but the equation is still entered in the calculator. You can use the touchpad on the calculator like a mouse to move the cursor to the tick and turn on or off the graph and press the middle of the touchpad.